Hi everyone, and in this tutorial we'll try to use Mad AI to design and render a procedural city fully parametric within MadMapper. So this is very easy to do. I will start by making a material here in the media tab under the material section. I click the plus button to create a new material that will be using uh, Mad AI, and I will call it AI ASCD. Okay. So I will use the higher quality mode with maximum madness and I will ask the application to create um, to create a plane in 3D but in the GLSL shader language I would like to use a specific technique that is called ray marching ray marching it's a synonym for 3D create a plane in ray marching with lighting and I will click the send button to process the request. For the sake of this tutorial, I will just speed up the processing part so you don't get bored. Boom, voila. I have some parameters, camera distance, camera height. Okay, light position, this looks nice, plain color. Let me set it to something like uh, gray, for instance, very nice. I will remove any kind of animation. So for now, what I will want to do is to add some details uh, on that plane, which would be the ground floor. So for this, I will switch to a website that's called ShaderToy and that hosts many different shaders uh, written in the same language as, uh, as materials for MadMapper. Uh, these shaders hosted on ShaderToy are, are free for you to, to, to look at. Uh, but please uh, try not to use them in um, commercial projects because uh, some come with a license. So for this, I will search for Gribble, Gribble to, to give it a Star Wars look on the surface. So now I have many different uh, shaders with Gribble options. Uh, I will use this one, for instance. And here, I don't really know the code, but if I look at here, this is the remarching loop, okay, even if I don't know what it does, I still know the terms. And here, there is a function called Gribble. Gribble. Let me just copy-paste, uh, Command-C, copy-paste this function, go back to MadMapper, and now ask the AI to um, um, use a... Uh, no. Add some details using a function similar to this one. So add some details using a function similar to this one. And I will just copy paste the function. Okay. And send it. Okay. So now it used my function. I have the height here. Frequency that would be the scale. Seeing as I want to be able to look down with my camera. So I will ask the AI to do this. Add camera angle parameters. Okay, now I have this angle. Okay, so I can look down. I can get closer. Okay. And add some height. Unfortunately, I don't see much uh, over here because I need some, some visual cues uh, to help me understand the, the, the volumetry of my scene. So I want to add ambient occlusion and Fresnel and uh, depth fog for instance. Okay, not bad, not bad. So let me fiddle a bit with the parameters. Okay. That's the ambient occlusion. Fresnel. For distance. Okay. Um, Uh, 
Okay, not bad. Not bad, but as you can see now, it, it lacks a bit of uh, anti, anti aliasing. So what I could do is just ask the, the, the AI to add anti aliasing. And I just like that. Hopefully it will work. Okay, now it looks like it added some anti-aliasing, as you can see, there is a difference though. So of course this, this will uh, slow down the rendering. Uh, and now, as you can see, um, the height, oh, looks nice. The height, uh, maybe I would like to fiddle it a bit and, and go way past these parameters. So for this, uh, anytime I can switch to the code and you see it's called the uh, height under the detail section. So I can go for the detail section. It's there. It says height. Eight. default is 0 0.2 minimum 0 maximum 1 let's go maximum 2 and build it okay it's built and as you can see it changed the range of the slider so now i can really add some 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 height interesting okay fun mm -hmm. and now let me try to find uh Another Hegel and the distance. Distance could be uh, to something different like zero camera distance. Did it, did it, did it, uh, minimum 0 0.1. And let me build it. Okay, it's there. And I can even get closer uh, to my procedural CD. Not bad. Uh, not bad. Okay, and I can switch back to the mad AI, and you see here, there is a manual edition. So if I go there, and there, I can switch back and forth uh, with the manual edition. 